Okay, next up is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, another one of those family adventure films. And the origin of this story is that many Greek gods come down to Earth and have a child. Yeah, don't ask. And that's what happened when Poseidon and a woman named Sally Jackson, played by the always wonderful Catherine Keener, I might add, have a baby together. And But Percy, played by the very talented Logan Lerman, doesn't know all of this. I mean, was it Dr. Phil who always said that deadbeat dads are all Greek gods, or was it Steve Wilkos who said that? I can't remember. But anyway, Percy possesses certain talents, if you will, and he's finally discovering this in his teen years, but doesn't know that he had them all this time. The people around him aren't what they seem either, including his best friend and also his teacher, who is played by Pierce Brosnan. They're all derived from something involving Greek mythology. Now Zeus, played by Sean Bean, best known for his role in Lord of the Rings films, or first one I should say, confronts Poseidon, accusing his son Percy of stealing his lightning bolt. Yes, I realize even for a kid's film, this sounds quite ludicrous, but just stay with me. Now, let the adventure begin, I guess you could say. Um, I gotta say, the most appealing characters in this film is Medusa, played very well by Uma Thurman, and Hades, played by uh, to near perfection by the utterly hilarious and downright entertaining Steve Coogan, best known for his roles in Tropic Thunder and Hamlet 2. Now this is by no means to be taken seriously as an epic film, because really, it isn't. But call me crazy, but this works as a fun family entertainer. An adventure that is quite over the top even for a fantasy, but yet that's part of this film's charm. I wouldn't like it if it was anything less, it just would have been another boring adventure film. I wasn't annoyed by the over-rambunctiousness of this film. The actors do the best they can, and they, it looks like they seem to be really having fun here. And I don't think that this will be overly memorable, but it may begin a series of films that families can just go out and enjoy, and you know what, I hope it does. I wouldn't mind seeing another one of the, these type of films involving the Percy Jackson character. So for all of that, I give this film three stars out of five.